Okay, so last week, thanks to Zoe and Kuyavins, we were able to unlock the parables of the mustard seed and the yeast. So now we have one, two, three of our X's encircled already. Hopefully, we'll be able to unlock today's lesson too. At the MJ, you're yes, here! Yay, at the MJ, huh? you're back! Huh? <gasps> Zoe? Zoe? Who are you? I'm Zoe the elephant. Who are you? I'm Zoe the elephant. Uh, no, I'm Zoe the hey. elephant. I'm Zoe the elephant. What? It's the MJ. I'm the you should be ashamed. I think only the real Zoe can do her trumpeting signature sound. Can you do it? Um. Oops. A cat pretending to be Zoe. <laughs> How about you? Uh. I knew it. Okay. Can you do it? Sure, at the MJ. <laughs> wait, wait! I don't I think so. I can do this. I can do this. <gasps> Zoe! Hey, it's me at the MJ. Zoe, it's really you. Gosh, that was so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> at the MJ. At the MJ. At the MJ. Wake up, at the MJ. Huh? Zoe, is, th is that really you? <laughs> what do you mean, at the MJ? Of course it's me. There's only one Zoe the elephant. <gasps> oh, Zoe, I'm so glad it's really you. That was such a strange dream I had. I was just looking at the map here and then I suddenly got so sleepy. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's not yet time for bed. No matter how sleepy you feel, it's time to find out what is real. Well, that woke me up. Come on, truth seekers. Let's unlock the truth behind today's parable. Bring on the adventure. Wow! But not, not everything, everything is what, what they, they seem to be. The parable of the wheat and the tares. Oh, so some of the grass we see here could actually be tares. Tares? Yes, tares. Or some people today call them darnel. It's a kind of wheat that looks so much like wheat while they're still young grass like this. We can't really tell the difference between them. Some farmers call them Wheat's evil twin. Yikes! Why? <gasps> Poisonous plants. Oh. This book should have the answer to your question, Zoe. Here it is! Look! Tears! Beware of the tear. While farmers grow wheat to make the flour that we use to make bread, cookies, cakes, pasta, and pizza dough. Oh, I'm getting hungry! <laughs> Eating tear can make you feel dizzy, lose your balance, and become very sick in the stomach. It can even kill you if you eat a lot of it. Yikes! I sure don't want to eat that! How can people make sure they don't accidentally eat tear instead of wheat? Farmers can only tell the difference between wheat and tear when they have fully grown, showing their heads of grain. Wheat has bigger, heavier grains than tares. So when the wheat is ripe for harvesting, they all bow down their heavy heads while the tares remain standing straight. Oh. <gasps> oh. Zoe, I think we should read the parable from Matthew chapter 13. Here is what the kingdom of heaven is like. A man planted good seed in his field. 
But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and planted tares among the wheat and then went away. Over time, the wheat grew until their heads of grain started to show. But so did the tares. Only when both the heads of wheat and the heads of tares started to show did they notice that there were tares mixed into the field. Oh no! Shouldn't they pull all the tares out? Uh, I think that's what the servants asked too. The workers wondered how it all happened and asked the owner what they should do. The owner said to them, an enemy did this. Don't pull up the tares yet while they are still growing, because you might also pull up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until it is time to harvest the wheat. When that time comes, I will say to the workers, first collect the tares, tie them in bundles and throw them to the fire to be burned. Then gather all the wheat and bring them into my storeroom. Jesus told parables to help us truth seekers learn more about God's heavenly kingdom, right? So what could be the heavenly meaning behind this story at the MJ? Thankfully, this is one parable that Jesus explained to his disciples. Let's see. So the sower who planted good seeds is Jesus. And the enemy is the devil. The field is the world. And the... The good wheat seeds are the real followers of Jesus! <gasps> then that means that the tares are like fake followers of Jesus! We can all do good and act like followers of Jesus, but it's really Jesus who can see inside our hearts if we are real followers or if we're just pretending to be His followers. So in the end, only those who are real followers of Jesus will be full of joy and with Him in heaven forever. And those who are only pretending will be separated from God in the most horrible, fiery furnace of sadness and pain forever. Oh, I would never want that for anyone. Good job, Truth Seekers. Have we unlocked today's treasure at the MJ? <laughs> Time to determine what, what is, is fake, fake, what, what is, is real. real. Examine your, your own heart. heart. Are you the real deal? I guess we're not done yet. Which of these two follows Jesus so true? Is it A, someone who obeys Jesus even if someone might get mad? Or B, someone who obeys Jesus just so no one thinks he's bad? What do you think, Zoe? I think someone who really trusts Jesus will obey Him, even when it's very hard to do. And it wouldn't really matter to Him what people think about Him. He will only want to make Jesus happy. Right. So I think the answer is A. Obeys Jesus even if someone might get mad. Well done, little truth seeker. Another, Another question, question for you. Which one should you do? A. Look out and judge those around you? Or B, examine your own heart to see if you're true. What do you think, Truth Seekers? Should we focus on looking around to see if other people are real followers of Jesus? Or should we check on our own hearts to see if we're real believers? Um, only Jesus should be the judge of other people, right, at the MJ? I think the answer is B. We should just focus on examining our own hearts to see if we are real followers of Jesus. Congratulations, Truth Seekers. Great you have unlocked today's, today's treasure. treasure. We did it! The fort X is encircled! S-E-E-K. -E be real with Jesus. Praise God, at the MJ! Yes! Praise God! You know, Zoe, in my dream a while ago, there were many other Zoes. They looked like you, they talked like you. I couldn't tell at first which one was the real you, but they were all trying to show me that they were the real you. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been really confusing. It sure was. At the MJ, we can yes. all be going to church and praying and reading our Bible, but how can we know if we're being real with Jesus? Well, 
Instead of just looking at the things we do, we can start by asking God to help us examine our hearts. What makes us real is if we bow down to Jesus like the wheat and trust Him to be the King of our hearts. And we let Jesus make us born again into a new person. John chapter 3 verse 3 Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John chapter 3 verse 3 Remember S-E-E-K Be real with Jesus So truth seekers, if you were to ask Jesus right now if you are being real with Him, what do you think He will say? Have you really let Jesus be King of your heart? If you're not quite sure yet if Jesus is already King in your heart and you'd like to become a real follower of Jesus, then all you need to do is pray like this in your heart. Dear Jesus, I've realized that even if I try to do good things, I haven't really trusted you to be king of my heart. Please forgive me for all my sins. Thank you for loving me so much that you died for me on the cross. Please give me a new heart and help me really follow you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Did you just honestly pray the prayer in your heart for the first time today? If your answer is yes, then you are now a real follower of Jesus. Welcome, Welcome to God's, God's family. family. Keep on seeking and growing in Jesus by following S-E-E-K. S. Set a time for God. Make sure you have time every day to talk and listen to Him. E. Erase all distractions so that you can really hear God guide you. The second E, examine your heart. Ask Jesus to help you check if you're really following Him. And K, keep and obey God's Word. When we really trust Jesus, we will follow Him no matter what. At the MJ, you've got a special guest joining you next week, right? Oh, you know who it is? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, come back next week, Truth Seekers, for another adventure here in Next, next Gen, Gen Live. Live. Hey there, Truth Seekers. Deepen your understanding of God's truth by sharing with each other what you have learned today. Use the discussion question on your screen to help you. And feel free to ask your squad leader or parents about how you can keep on growing in Jesus. See you next week. Want to be part of a next gen small group via Zoom? If you are 7 to 12 years old, you can be part of an online squad or small group by registering on the link in the description or scanning this QR code. Hope to see you there! <laughs>